Hello, it is May 4th, and today we are going to read Pass It On. So Pass It On is a story about a friend who finds that he cannot help his other friend by himself, so he decides to get as much help as possible. And things get a little mixed up, but in the end, they do actually end up helping the cop. So it's called Pass It On. It's written by Marilyn Sadler and illustrated by Michael Slack, and we are looking for ways we can help each other. Pass it on. And there's little B, who is the hero of our story. One day B went to visit his friend Cow. B looked in the barn. He searched down by the river. He even checked under the apple tree. Finally, B found Cow in the back field. Cow was stuck in the fence. B offered to find help. I will get help. So it looks like the setting of this story is probably a farm. B buzzed to Frog's pad and said, Cow is stuck on the fence. Pass it on. Frog wanting to be helpful, quickly hop hopped to tell Pig. Frog said, cow put a duck in the tent. Pass it on. Oh. Pig trot trotted to tell Goose. Pig said, cow's tent fell on a woodchuck. Pass it on. Goose waddle waddled to tell dog. Cow and hen had good luck. Pass it on, said Goose. This is starting to remind me of a game of telephone. Dog ran to the house and barked at kitten. A good duck gave cow a penny. Pass it on, said the dog. Because this message just keeps getting more and more messed up. Kitten ran inside and meowed to Mouse. Cow has money. Pass it on, said Kitten. Mouse rushed outside and down the hill to tell Hen. Cow has milk and honey. Pass it on, said Mouse. Mmm, said Hen. I love milk and honey. Now I'm hungry. Hen and Mouse went to find Cow to get some milk and honey. And what they heard was, where's the duck? I could use some luck. I like money. I need that penny. Is that woodchuck okay? Look, the cow is stuck in the fence. Uh, that's what I said an hour ago. Where's the honey? So even though all the messages got mixed up, when all the friends got together, they realized that the problem is that cow is stuck in a fence. What is your prediction for how they will solve their problem? Will they all just run away? Will they find a way to work together to help cow? Cow needs our help. Let's work together. Ready? Ready? One, two, and look, it's like they're all pulling cow and dog is in the back trying to help cow out by leap by getting the fence out of the way three Moo. oh i see dog gave cow a push and everyone else was pulling and they freed cow from that fence then cow and whoops i skipped a page then cow invited everyone who helped him to follow him to the barn for milk. And B passed the honey. Passed it on. Oh, what a wonderful story. All these friends worked together to help their friend Cow when he was stuck. And even though it got mixed up, they still found a way to work together and then got a treat. And that is the end of Pass It On which you can find on Epic, 
Epics, Books for Kids, and there are a lot of other books here about how you can help your friends. I love it when there's a quiz, so let's look at it real quick. Who was stuck in the fence? That's right, cow. What is the problem in this story? That's right, everyone was hearing each other wrong. What is the setting of the story? We talked about this. Is it a pond, the city, a house, and a farm? Now we know that there was a pond because that's where they found the frog, but the pond was on a farm with all the other animals. How did the animals help cow? Did they take down the fence? Did they work together to push him? Or did they sing him a song? I don't feel like a song would be very helpful, although it might make cow feel better while he is stuck. They worked together to push him. And how did Cal thank his friends? He gave them milk. That's right. And then B brought the honey. Very nice. And I hope you enjoyed this book. And if you want to find more books like it, get right on Epics and read some of your own stories. On Epics, you can even find books that will read the story to you. They say, read to me. Bye.